unveiling the allegorical tale, Africa as Eden's garden and Europe as the demon. Throughout history, narratives and symbols have played a significant role in shaping our understanding of the world. In the context of African and European relations, a thought-provoking allegory has emerged, drawing parallels between the continents and biblical themes. This striking analogy portrays Africa as the sacred Eden garden and Europe as the ominous demon lurking in the shadows. Although this metaphorical depiction may not encapsulate the entirety of their complex histories, it sheds light on the historical interactions between these two continents and prompts us to reflect on the dynamics of power, exploitation, and human progress. Africa, the Eden Garden The Eden Garden, a biblical paradise, symbolizes innocence, abundance, and untouched natural beauty. In the allegory, Africa assumes this role, representing a land rich in resources, diverse cultures, and vast untapped potential. With its lush landscapes, thriving ecosystems, and ancient civilizations, Africa has long been a cradle of human existence and a source of profound knowledge and wisdom. Africa's abundant natural resources, such as gold, diamonds, oil, and fertile lands, have attracted the attention of foreign powers for centuries. Similar to the biblical Garden of Eden, which was viewed as a divine gift to humanity, Africa's wealth has paradoxically been both a blessing and a curse. It has ignited the desires of those seeking to exploit and control it, leading to centuries of colonization, slave trade, and resource extraction. Europe, the Demon In the allegory, Europe takes on the role of the demon, representing the powerful and exploitative forces that have historically sought dominion over Africa. Europe's colonial ambitions and imperialistic endeavors have left an indelible mark on African history, often causing immense suffering and disruption to the continent's societies. From the scramble for Africa in the late 19th century to the exploitation of African labor and resources during the colonial era, Europe's actions have perpetuated a cycle of subjugation and inequality. The demon-like nature of Europe symbolizes the historical injustices and the profound imbalances of power that have shaped African-European relations. Challenging the Allegory while the allegorical representation of Africa as Eden and Europe as the demon encapsulates certain aspects of their historical interaction, it is essential to acknowledge its limitations. Reducing Africa to an idyllic Eden and Europe to a malevolent demon oversimplifies the complex historical, cultural, and social dynamics at play. Both Africa and Europe have diverse histories that encompass both cooperation and conflict, progress and regression. Additionally, this allegory may reinforce stereotypes and perpetuate an us-versus-them mentality, hindering constructive dialogue and mutual understanding between the continents. Conclusion The allegory of Africa as Eden's garden and Europe as the demon serves as a potent reminder of the historical interactions between these two continents. It highlights the exploitation and power imbalances that have characterized their relationship for centuries. However, it is crucial to approach such analogies with caution and recognize their inherent limitations in fully capturing the multifaceted nature of history. As we move forward, the focus should be on promoting cooperation, understanding, and equality between Africa and Europe. Acknowledging the past while seeking to build a more just and inclusive future is essential for both continents to overcome the legacy of colonialism and to foster meaningful partnerships for the betterment of humanity as a whole.